Hi everyone, my name is Richard and I want to show you how to create PDFs from tele submissions uh, using make.com. Um, make.com has a free plan so you can create quite a few submissions uh, or PDFs uh, totally for free. Um, if you do receive a lot of submissions on, on tele that's basically a good sign I would say and then make offers uh, very affordable and great uh, paid plans as well. So. Um, yeah, let's jump right in how, how it works. Um, we, we start off very simple and I split up this tutorial into two parts. Uh, one, and this is the first one here, where we simply go over how to, how to do it and, and how to get a PDF from a submission. Whereas the second part, the more advanced part, go into adding a, a signature. So if you receive a signature and tell you how to put this or even multiple signatures into a uh, Google Docs or a, a PDF at the end of the day um, for for those of you who, who really want to do this. Okay, so the first step I did here and I, I skipped that is I created a tele form which asked for a name, an email and in our case a, a favorite pet. Um, and what we want to do is someone fills out the form and then we want to create a PDF which summarizes it um, and uh, yeah, and sends the PDF to the respondent. For that, I um, created a Google Docs. Yeah, we will work with Google Documents here, uh, which enable you to create a Google Docs based on a template. And uh, so I went into my Google Drive, I created a new Google Docs, I called it PDF template for Tele. Um, I put in the, the Tele logo here. Well, it says contact form, which isn't really good for, for a favorite pet, but anyways. Um, these are the submission details, the name, the email address, and the favorite pet. And we will put this information we get from the telly into this document. So how do we do this? Um, I already prepared the, the um, make scenario. If you're new to make, um, yeah, simply sign up and uh, then in the top right corner it says create a new scenario, which is where if you then click, you can search for telly, you can search for Google uh, docs and they do have a ton of modules um, and those here are available for free um, so as you can see Google has a lot of uh, tools and uh, make also supports a lot of them but we only need a few at first we need the tele module um, we need the watch new responses to watch for new responses for on our form we just created right so um, Basically, you can only click on create connection. It prompts you to log into Tele if you're new, and then you create a, a web hook where you choose the, the form. All of this is guided. I highly doubt there's much to, to, uh, to miss here. The next step is we, we're going to search for Google Docs. And what, we, what we're using is we use the module create a document from a template. Yeah, create a document from a template. And what, what we're doing here is we... Um, if, if you haven't filled out this, this module, it asks you to use a document ID, which is where you can either look into the URL and the ID is after the slash, the D slash until the slash before the edit. Or what most of the times is easier, you simply go through uh, your folder structure. In my case, it's uh, at the root drive folder. It, uh, I created a, a folder for Tele. The PDF demo, uh, demo, demo, and um, yeah, and this this is then the the file, the PDF template uh, tele, which is exactly this file, right, where you can choose it. There is no other Google document in in this case. There's only another folder, but uh, I created this folder to um, to store the completed submissions because at the very bottom here, you ask for the new new documents location. Um, so this is where I then put in the, the new documents. And what this module does is, it um, if you go the route of uh, choosing your document using this dropdown, you, it automatically fetches all the instances of, um, of variables. And the variable for, for a template in Google Docs is something which is in those curly braces. So name, email address, and, and favorite pet here, uh, or fave pet. Um, so, it found all of these three uh, values. It also looks for images, but we, we're going to ignore this for now. Um, this is the Tele um, logo here. 
And what, what we're doing here is we simply uh, choose the, the variables from our first module and I suggest you to use the fields by ID because if you happen to rename your um, uh, your your field, so let's say your work email, and you adjust it, using the fields here would uh, lead to an error if you chose the your email in the fields section. Whereas if you go by fields by ID, it still it looks like your email, but it it uses the underlying ID this question underscore rw five and so on, right? So I, I suggest you to use those values. You simply put them in here. You only need them once. And um, and this is basically the, the first or the, the biggest challenge in this example here is that the multiple choice question in Telly, oops, where is it here? The multiple choice potentially allows more than one value, right? You could enable the multiple selection. However, in our uh, form, we only want one pet because we want the favorite pet. And um, thus, we only want to in input one, um, one value. And in Make, which gives a little bit more freedom than other uh, automation platforms, some of you who, who have not worked with code before maybe are faced the first time with something like an array. An array is basically something where multiple values are stored into. And uh, as our multiple choice only allows one answer, it will only contain one item. However, we cannot simply put this here or it wouldn't be good practice. What I would suggest you is to put first um, the, the, the function. You do that by simply typing first, opening the braces and it automatically um, yeah, brings up the function and you can close it. And this will then make sure that you really only use the answer. Let's say you want to ask for more than one. I would suggest to use the join um, join function and combine all those values by using a comma. And then um, if we would allow to, to, um, to collect more than one answer there and someone would uh, choose dog and cat, it would be dog comma cat in this case. But we only want to use the first, right? The one and only the first. Um, there is a title field. You can name it whatever you want, right? You can put in whatever you want here. Um, sometimes it's handy to use the submission ID because this is unique for your form. So um, in that form, no other submission will have the submission ID. So you know exactly which, um, which submission is linked to which PDF or Google Docs. So if we do simply do those two modules here, uh, we receive a submission and then we create a Google Docs. It will simply create a Google document in our folder. Where is it? Um, here. It will simply create the, the Google Docs. However, it ran, it ran twice here with the same submission. However, uh, we want to send the PDF to, to the respondent. And to do that, we actually need to basically download this Google Docs first into make in order to then send it as an attachment on our email. So what we're using here is the download a file module from Google Drive. It's Google Drive, download a file. Uh, we put in the document ID from the module before, right? Because this is, we, we get it back the response as a new document ID and we want to download exactly that. And if you open the module, it looks like this, but in the advanced settings, you can determine how to convert Google Documents files format and you choose to convert it into a PDF. And thus this Google document then gets converted into a PDF. And when we send, want to send an email, um, I'm using the, the general send the email module. However, there's also like a Gmail module and Outlook module. You can use those as well. They work very similar. So, um, the first attribute here is the two. Um, so where do we want to send the email? And as we're asking the respondent for, for an email, we choose exactly that. Again, close this fields and use fields by ID. Put this in here. Um, if you're on Chrome, you can actually click on Safari. It's, it's kind of broken right now. You, you choose a subject. For the content time, please make sure 
If you're not used to coding, use plain text. There's also HTML, which offers more flexibility. But for those of you who want to go no code, um, I would suggest plain text because then the email gets sent exactly as it looks like. And then we can use variables we get from before, right? So we, we ask the respondent for uh, the name. So we can send a, a very personal email saying hi, and then whatever the person types into, thank you for, submit, uh, for your submission, kind regard, Richard. And then in the attachment section, we can add an attachment and it will automatically populate it with the Google Drive. There's nothing else we need to do. We simply click OK. And this is our setup to, to send an email based on a tele submission. So let's test it. Let's go, go one, uh, one view out here. We go for the public uh, URL here. We use this. And now uh, let, let me make this here. Go synergetic.com, favorite pad as a cat. So let's submit this. And we can already see the tele submission was received by May. It's now creating the Google document. It's downloading it. It's sending the email. And I'm not sure if my sound is on, but yeah, you hear it. This is uh, the email I received. Let me move it as a PDF. So this is the PDF. And if I open it, in the viewer, this is how it looks like. And we, we got the name, we got the email, and the favorite pet is a cat, right? So this is how you create a simple PDF using telly and make.com and Google Docs and Google Drive. Um, I hope it serves you well, and if you do have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.